In the small town of Gypsum, Colorado, a big problem is brewing at Eagle Valley High, the number of teenagers using e-cigs and vaping. I've had friends who have been addicted to nicotine having to leave classes um, like two or three times a class period to go because they were just so out of control and needing nicotine. Lily Reynolds is a student at the school and is part of an effort to raise the legal age from 18 to 21. It's a campaign her younger brothers begged her to stop. They told me that their friend's mom had seen me on TV and they, I should stop talking about this because then their friends were going to think they're uncool. But that didn't stop Big Sister. My name is Lily Reynolds. She and another student went before Avon City Council saying the teen vaping problem is serious. The day I turned 18, um, several kids came up to me and asked me to buy them um, pods, which are these like little packets of juice that go in the vape or jewel or whatever. The Centers for Disease Control tells the problem solvers the number of kids using e-cigarettes in Colorado is twice the national average. Eagle County, like so many others in the state, was no exception. Two school years ago there was some rising use and then as soon as August hit last year it just it just blew up. We got calls from middle school principals, we got calls from high school principals, um, our prevention specialists, just everyone noticing that last school year there really was a huge uptick. Mandy Ivanov, Eagle County's Health Promotion Coordinator, says those fruity vapors and appealing flavors with nicotine are dangerous. It sets up neurological wiring that um, lends them to addiction and studies have shown that youth who are using vape devices in a year or two will convert to cigarette use. Not if Lily can help it, at least in the halls of Eagle Valley High. In Gypsum, Vicente Arenas, Fox 31.